to teach you how to tame your hamster and to calm it down. When they get all scared, they'll probably like go a little bit mean because they're, they're protecting themselves from getting hurt. And if somebody does something wrong like that they think you think that's going to hurt them, you should tell them not to do that. You should tell them to please don't do that because it hurts my hamster. And you should, like, explain why it hurts. And I'm going to sh show you how my brother's hamsters react when he gets scared. When sometimes... You might not want to stick your hand in a hamster's cage because you don't you might not know if it's really, really nice or really mean. And my brother just needs to calm down. He needs to like relax and know that he will not get hurt no matter what happens. So he thinks that I may have hit him, and then he just checks. He might check you out and see and sense with his nose and see if he's gonna hurt you. And sometimes you have to like take testers on him, like do a pet test and stuff like that. And then pretty much in like two weeks, he'll be just fine. And pretty soon he'll will be like another hamster. Like, Diggle is really calm. And he is not that calm. And he drinks too much. The other day, he got his bar all the way almost empty. And I changed it. Hmm. You might want to do bathroom sink water if it's good. It, instead of like dish water. Because we don't even like dishwater. And they matter because they're part of the family too. They're not just a little pet animal. They're family part. So you have to treat them like you do as their person. Even though they're not, they're an animal. But they're still part of the family. You have to like go and... Like, help them, because they don't know how to hold things unless they're holding their food or drinking their water bottle. Because it's kind of hard for them to stay up. It's not hard because we can hold stuff better than they can. So, you, you don't have to teach them how to go up the tubes. They'll learn themselves. And, that's, and we can learn stuff ourselves. Like, we can learn how to do handstands. They can learn how to climb up their tubes and get on the wheel if stuff is blocking them from going there. And you can, like, help them. And you have to change their food and model almost, like, a week, every week. And, and if yours goes like goes to bathroom lots of times it's normal they just eat a lot and drink do you think you would like to try one more time to pick up blaze and then if it doesn't work out we will show the progress as the week continues yep blaze i'm not gonna hurt you i'm just gonna you know, try to calm you down so calm down, and I'm not going to hurt you. You have to calm down and sit down. Sit. Good, Blaze. Sit, sit, sit. Down. Come on, down, down. Good boy. Down. Down, relax, relax, relax. See, nothing to be scared of, nothing to be afraid of. Calm, down, sit, sit, down, good, stay down. I 
think that's not a workout. So we'll come back and, and check again in a couple of days and see how he does? Yeah. Bye.